Sunday, April 12, 1981. Kennedy Space Center, Florida. The Space Shuttle. April 12, 1981 was an historic day for NASA. Buoyed by the success of the Apollo missions in the 60s, the U.S. Space Agency wanted to build a kind of laboratory in space, the ISS, or International Space Station. A colossal project that would require many trips between Earth and space. NASA had to find another way than single-use rockets. John Logsdon had been an aerospace historian for over 40 years. He remembers the start of the project very well. Well, at the beginning of the program, the thought was that the shuttle would be like an airplane. You could just kind of land, do a little turnaround, and take off again. The plan was for five orbiters that it would do 50 to 60 missions a year, basically one a week. Several space shuttle prototypes were examined. The orbiter concept was chosen a kind of space freighter capable of carrying both payloads and astronauts. Primarily it was designed to accommodate seven crew, four at the flight deck, three at the mid deck. There was not a whole lot of extra space that was uh, designed for that. Everything else was primarily the cargo compartment that had doors to the, at the top of it that would open up to expose the entirety of the whole cargo bay 